Hey guys, what is going on? Today I'll be opening, as in the title it says, the 3DS uh, Collector's Edition Guide for the uh, um, Pokemon Sun and Moon games for the 3DS. Um, obviously I don't really do that much 3DS stuff, that's because I really don't have a capture card for my 3DS. I was planning on getting one, but uh, Loopy, the one I was going to go through, kind of shut down. I Or not shut down, but sold out of his capture cards. And uh, so I couldn't get one through there, and I'm not going to really go through Katsu Kitty. And just these like arm nine loader things on eBay are just not really what I feel like going through. But uh, um, so yeah, once Loopy gets his stuff back, maybe I'll go through that. But uh, for now, I just wanted to get this uh collector's thing. I did buy this. This is the hardcover one. Apparently, um, not apparently, there was one for uh that wasn't as expensive. Um, it was like a loose cover, I don't know, a paper cover one, which was um like. 10 or 20 dollars less but i decided to get the hardcover one just because i thought this is a really cool pokemon game and i really want to be able to savor it um and have like one that's not gonna like rip on me or anything so i decided to get the hardcover one plus the game is amazing if if anybody like if you haven't uh played or are thinking about getting it or not i definitely recommend it i've played through it i've uh, completed the story mode not after story um but uh, definitely the story is very long, very worth your money. This is probably the best Pokemon game in a while that you're going to get. Not that the other ones were bad. It's just that this one, this one is pretty good, honestly. This one, um, besides uh, like what I do, I like to shiny hunt. There's not that many as methods in this one as there are in other ones. But definitely this one is pretty good. So, but anyway, I'm going to get into this, um, open this, and kind of show you what this is. Um, just in case you're... Um, gonna get it or if you're getting it and you just don't know like maybe is this gonna be worth it to even grab this one uh, I'll show you this one and you can decide for yourself. So let's get this open. Okay, so I got the plastic off of it looks so much better without the plastic here um, Just looks so amazing there. So that's the uh, that's it without the cover It does come with some other stuff here. I'm not exactly sure what that is uh, What's this one? Oh, this is just some back stuff um just for what it is um, with the collector's edition. I don't know if this comes with a paper one or not, but this is just looks like it has the uh, what it is in US, Canada, Australia. So if you guys are in Canada, Australia, you are paying a little bit more. US is $40, just in case you want to know how much this is. Um, this pretty much just tells you what's in there a little bit, but I'll just give you a show of what everything is in here. So before we get to the book, I guess I'll go through the uh, through what's in here. Looks to be that that looks like a really cool folder. Oh, sweet! A Lolan region concept art. Caution: some images may contain go game spoilers. Ooh, so guys, spoilers might be coming here. So just so you guys know, but that looks cool. Concept art. So this is Path to the Plank Bridge. That's pretty cool. This one is Aether Base. Oh, I've seen these one actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Put that over there. Uh, then we have the Aether Paradise. Ooh, that's a very nice one. I love these arts. Dang, that is pretty cool. If I was to make, honestly, I think I'd what I'd do is I'd make a big poster or something like put these together and make a big poster. But honestly, I'm just not. Um, I don't have any room for my walls for any more posters. So I'll probably just keep these honestly in there until I find out what to do with them. But let's see. Now we got the Battle Royal Dome. As we know, masked. Uh, was that masked thing there? And we know who that is, obviously. But that looks very nice. Alright, so next we have the Seafolk Village. Oh, wow. That is amazing. I, I love that. You Obviously, you know that one if you played the game. Um, just a lot of these. That looks very nice. I love these detailed arts. Or not detailed, but definitely more detailed than what... Uh, what it could have been honestly this is very nice i didn't even know these concept arts were going to be in there i didn't look at exactly what was going to be in here so these are this is a nice surprise let's see we have mali city as well hmm um some of these if i don't remember exactly what these cities are named honestly or which ones these are because i played through the game i didn't play through it fast but i did play um through it relatively it took me 36 hours to get past the game i did train do stuff other things you know so if i don't remember the exact city names like this one i don't remember that much so um it's because i did kind of just hop to the next one relatively fast not fast fast but relatively fast so let's see we have Kony Kony city Ooh, very nice it looks like a traditional like japanese kind of thing put into there so as you can see those dragon airs on there um 
wrapping around like the dragons would be in there. I don't know if that's Chinese or Japanese. I'm very bad on my Asian country sometimes, or my Asian stuff, so. Um, and then we have Iki Town, the original thing there with the Pokemon stuff in the middle. That is pretty cool. Awesome. Is there anything on the Are you kidding me? I gotta go back on these. Hold on. Okay, and then we have Hala here. Oh, these must be... Okay, so we have Hala and his art on how he was um, made there. That's pretty cool. So I've gotta flip these around now and... Okay. Oh, that's sweet. I didn't even know these. Uh, this was there. Sweet. And we have Olivia. These are all uh, kahunas for the... Uh, um, who you battle once you're done with your trials and stuff, so... Nanu, oh my gosh, this guy's grin right there was the creepiest grin. Every time I saw it, it was just like so creepy. Oh my gosh, but he's pretty cool dude, he's a pretty cool dude for an old guy. Hapu, I, I don't know, I never really got to like Hapu honestly, I just never found her character to be that, that well off, I mean, it, it's just, I don't really know, I just didn't really like her that much for anything. Um... Let's see, then we have the Masked Royal. This was uh, what I was talking about. We all know who's played the game, or even just looking at it, you know who that is, come on. All right, so let's see, that. And then we have Lusam Lusamine, or Lusamine, um, which the age on her, like she looks she looks stunning, honestly, but if, if anybody has played the game, there's a big surprise in there, which I might have just ruined, but whatever. Um, which, oh, these arts just look amazing. Aether Foundation, we have, uh, two of the grunts, which honestly, the, or not grunts, uh, I guess to say, um, there. Oh, they have a legend here to actually, um, actually have that. Okay, so what it is, that's pretty cool. Wow. Honestly, these are really awesome. Wow, now I kind of don't want to make these a poster just for the back, honestly. You'd be, like, missing on this. Oh, and we have Lily's Expressions. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Which one of yours is I'm gonna take I'm gonna take like I always love the puffy cheek one. I like the four one. If anything, I'll take the four puffy cheek one on there. That is always a nice one. The thing like pouty cheek kind of thing, that's always a nice one. But it gives all the I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one, but that's a that one's pretty cool as well. Maybe I just because at the end it's just I don't know. Um but yeah, I don't. Some of these I don't. That one I don't remember honestly. I remember pretty much, and maybe not that one, but I like that one the best. But yeah, so that's the concept art. That's amazing. Gosh, guys, just honestly, just for that, that is amazing. But also getting this, like, there should be like that's that's probably a good amount of money right there, like to get your money's worth. But uh, let's go into the book and see about some stuff. I just want to make sure I open this without doing this. Oh, hey, what's that? Um, so the inside of the book, obviously very colorful. Uh, we got a Lolan stuff. This was actually shown in some previews, actually. Now that I think about it, this one was shown in a preview, um, when the game was coming out. We have all the Oricorios, um, form. Rockruff and, uh, I forget what name that is. I, w I wasn't, um, doing that much. The sand one, and I know you guys are gonna, like, burn me in the thing. Oh, that was that. I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I know, but... Uh, let's see. Take your game to the next level. Pokemon Sun and Moon, the official Lowland Pokedex and post-game adventure guide. Are available early 2017. It's like, I already got it, though. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, I mean, um, unless they're... Oh, no, no. This is the, uh, oh, this is the, um, Pokedex thing. Okay, so, basically... Um, this is a post-game guide for the adventures awaiting you. Data for the Lowland decks. Um... Helpful in so so what are we getting in this one? If <laughs> like if that contains that, then what's this? Um, let's see. We had some concept art, of course. Behind the scenes cut. So this is giving you some concept art on Kukui. Um, just like every character in there, kind of like the ones there, but it, um, but these are separate. The concept arts there were separate. Okay. So just some really nice art in here, and that's really nice. Um, I am gonna go through these pretty fast because I don't want this video to be too long, honestly. I just wanted to give you guys a good look at what this contained. What the heck? Ryuki. Okay, I- some of these I don't know, honestly know. Um, like Ryuki, I don't know who he is, honestly. If I'm gonna say for sure, I don't know who he is. I've never seen him. So, let's see. Oh, there was the ball with the, uh... Um, the beast ball that she that uh she had in there the I always forget her name. Why do I forget her name? 
Lucimine or something like that, I think it is. I'm pretty sure. The Ride Pager, Ride Pokemon, and the Alolan Region Strategy Guide. Okay, so I'm guessing there's a glossary or table of contents. Okay, so I want to move this and we can look at the table of contents here. Um, that's pretty much what I wanted to show on this part. So let's see, I'm going to get this aimed correctly. And let's see, I'm going to go into here a little bit, just zoom in. So let's see, we start with the Alolan region map. Uh, if you guys want to pause this, you can see what's here. But I'm just going to read the green one. So we got a walkthrough. So basically you got a walkthrough. And then it goes to the advanced trainer handbook here. I might as well just go through here and show what's in here. So you guys can get a good look about what this is. So let's see. Here we have that. Advanced trainer handbook. Or handbook. Complete your trainer passport, be effective, Zemo's in effects, trading, island scan. So a lot of stuff here, definitely probably going to help you um, if you're going for anything really competitive competitive or just story in there. So just to help you a little bit more in here. Oh, they even have the Pokebank and Poketransport. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, adventure data, moves, how to obtain TM. So pretty much this is like the Pokedex thing. I, I kind of hope so because I'm, <laughs> I'm, I need some help on this, honestly. I'm going to be looking at this like hardcore, you know, trying to get some of these um, Pokemon before the Pokebank releases in uh, January. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing here. So hopefully you guys see all of this of what's in here, you know. So apparently how to register in the island Pokedex. Hopefully these tell you exactly where to go, how to get them. Um, obviously I've got some, but I'm going to need some of the Alolan Pokemon. I do have like every one of the, um, uh, every other, the post, the, the before the Alolan, all the other regions in there I have uh, in my Pokebank. So doing that's probably, I'll probably just wait for that so I can get the national decks and then just complete it for the, uh, uh, what do you call it? For the, to get the shiny charm in game. So that's probably what I'll do. Um, sorry if this is a little bit of a bore for you, but I just wanted to look at this, give you guys a little bit of what's in here, and uh, hopefully this will help you out and decide whether or not you want to get this, which I, I definitely recommend getting this. This looks like an awesome guidebook here. Um, so it looks like you start out with the welcome, the Pokemon battles, pretty much just basic stuff here. Um, so if you're new to this, you can definitely get some good stuff in here. Uh, I'm going to look around here and try to see if there's anything... Um, besides that, uh, let's see. Imagine, does it give you a guide to Pokemon stuff here? So, okay, so it gives you all this held items, offensive items. Okay, here we go. So, yes, yeah, so each Pokemon is listed here. Um, and it gives you the ability where you can catch it. So, catch an SOS battles during a sandstorm and hollow desert. Okay, so like that. Just basically finding out where to catch these things or if you have to uh, trade. Obviously, there's some trade um, things or if there's, uh, or if there's uh, what do you call it, it's like evolving as well. Um, I kind of wish it would give you both things, it looks like. It just gives you like catching this. Like what if you don't want to catch it? What if you just want to um, evolve it? Like that's where I think the... If, I think it should have it, honestly. I'm hoping it has it where it, um, where it has the level ups and stuff like that. Because there is some on uh, some different ways on how Pokemon evolve here. So, but yeah, that looks like pretty much it. A pretty standard guide for the rest here. Um, but yeah, an overall guide. I'm sure if anybody has been before here, um, if they're like if you have got if you have done guides before, you obviously know it's in a guide. It's pretty much everything that you need to know on here. But um, I haven't actually looked at a guidebook in so long since like Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I looked at that guidebook a little bit. Not that much as much as I should have, but because I knew uh, um, from the original Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, I'd known most of that stuff for a little, for as much as what they had changed in there. So sorry if this is getting a little boring, but uh, if you want to click out, I guess whatever. But um, let's see, is there anything at the end of this book that would be cool? Let's see. Credits. And then we have... Ooh, what's this? Oh, yeah. I think this is the uh, the map that was supposed to be in here. So, Or some chart. Oh, no. Okay. Map or chart. I don't really know. So, oh, yeah. So, this is littler than I thought it was going to be, honestly. You have the map here for this. The Pony Island. Uh, Ula Ula, Ula Ula Island. Aether Paradise. Mele Mele Island. And Akala Island. And as well as... 
full Alola region map. So just showing there. Okay. Okay. Oh, it actually points out the Pokemon centers. Okay, that's pretty cool. And I think that's pretty much it. So, uh, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, uh, I've, I've never really opened... A, sorry, this is my first uh, opening of, like, a going over a Sun and Moon guidebook. Tell me if you liked it. Um, if you did, like... Definitely hit that like button and definitely definitely f check out this book. I'd say definitely um, the concept art and stuff, getting that was definitely what made this worth this. Plus, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some uh, get some good use out of the strategy, guys. So, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, definitely leave a like, um, subscribe if you're new. And I'll probably be doing an Evolutions Booster Box um, right after this and putting this up, depending on when this goes up. So, if you're in it for the TCG, uh, definitely stick around for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed um, and I'll see you guys in another video.